morning, morning, morning. It's Wednesday, everybody. It's midweek medicine. I got another two cups of that good dose for you. It's Miguel Brown, your game changer in the fourth quarter, your breath of fresh air, that life coach you need right now, right? Let's get into it. Today I'm doing something a little special, a little different. I want to use the platform that I was given, this whole speaking thing that God gave me to honor two individuals. And the reason why I'm honoring these individuals is not because they asked me to or because they say, Miguel, can you please, you know, put the word out about me so I can get more business and things. I'm doing this because they deserve it. I'm doing this because I'm, I'm sowing a good seed into good people, into what I believe that they're doing. I'm doing this because the focus that I have right now in becoming great at what I'm doing, the focus that I have in putting the word out to help people do better for themselves, the focus that I have in just becoming great all by myself and what I have to do in this world is attracting that very thing to me. No matter what, I, I run into people all the time that have a terrific story they're amazing they're doing good things in the community to help their families at their jobs uh so right now i want to take the time the first person i want to bring up is chef brazil murphy i had the pleasure to meet him um on our on my wife and i's uh, one year wedding anniversary that was part of the surprise that she did for me was she brought in the chef to cook for us at the hotel that we stayed in and it just so happened that this particular chef <clears throat> has a great story behind him. He just hasn't been cooking for a long time and decided to do his own thing. He's been a chef for 15 years, working in hotels and other restaurants. And three years ago, he decided he didn't want to do that anymore. He decided that he wanted, he didn't want to work for anybody. He wanted to follow his dreams. He wanted to follow his passion, which is cooking, and go out and do his own thing. And that's what he did. Ever since then, he made that choice. He committed to it. He followed his dream. And now he's, he's, he's very successful. He helps... He helps other people with their events without even looking for any recognition. It's just in him to do. He's blessing people in that manner. You know, like I said, he does his own events. He comes to your house and cook for you. But on top of the great food that he cooks, and it is good, I'm trying to tell you, the man himself, and when he speaks to you, he's humble. He has no problem with sharing his story, and that's what attracted me to him while he was cooking for us. He has an interesting story that when he did decide to do to do his dreams, to follow his passion, that, you know, he went through some things. He had, he had some struggles. When I tell you, you know, it's one for the books, he definitely had a struggle. and But he met that struggle head on. He, 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 he No fear got a hold of him. He didn't quit when, the, when his problems came up. He strapped up his boots. He hit the ground running. He started back over. Built it from the ground up, and now he's doing better than what he did before. Like I said, he's a humble person. He'll share his story with you. What he do, when when he cooks for you, it's a blessing. It's just good. It's, when you eat good, you feel good. When you feel good, you feel like you look good, and all that other stuff. And it's just a good thing, right? So if y'all get a chance to, I'll flash up his information for you later on. Book this man to just come cook for you and your wife or your girlfriend, your husband, uh, your family, some type of event that, that you want to do and you just want some good food catered by good people, I guarantee you, you won't go wrong, right? Next individual I want to honor, and, and all y'all workout buffs, y'all love this, is her name is Kenya Hunter. And I met Kenya through my wife. This is my wife's personal trainer. And I say, I, I think probably we know her about over a year, about a year now, maybe. Um, her story is an interesting one, too. Her story has its own trials and tribulations and struggles in it. And now she's in a better place for going through it. You know, two years ago, she uh, went to the doctor's office and the scale said she was 280. That wasn't good for her. That didn't sit well for her. From that day forward, she dedicated herself to going in to making herself healthier. She began changing, like I tell you all the time, change your mind, change your life. She began changing her mind. In turn, her body followed. Train your mind and your body will follow. And that's what happened. She started losing weight after weight after weight. Along, she, she took people that knew her along with her on her journey. And people seen how she transformed herself from this 280-pound thick girl to this fit woman. Not only who changed what she thought her purpose was of being a choir director, but, but to a personal fitness coach. She got certified and everything. Her personal trainer, she 
she uh, 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 she honors him on a regular basis because she understands one thing that because of him she's where she's at and now that she is able to bless other people with her, with her gift when we met her I believe she only had a few people in her group she called them the G squad they gladiators she goes in boot camp for real insanity in real life right she probably had about five or six people with her now she's got a whole group. I say it's probably more than twenty people now. They do they take the boot camp outside now that the weather's changed. And but you get to, <clears throat> excuse me. You get to see the impact that she's having on these people's lives. If you follow her on Facebook, you see the passion that she has in in fitness and health all this stuff. You see the passion that she has for every individual person that she come in contact with. They might start out as just a client and as business, but they end up a friend. You know, a friend is somebody that can tell you like it is, whether they hurt your feelings or not. And I don't care what you say. If you're in the business of losing weight or trying to get in shape or feel healthy or anything, you need somebody that's going to keep it completely 100 with you. And let you know, hey, put that pork chop down, do five more push-ups. So you need that. So because of their passion for what they do, because of them going through what they went through. I always say to y'all, I'm thankful that my struggles of yesterday are y'all strength for the for today and y'all push for tomorrow. Well, I'm grateful to know them and know that their struggle. I appreciate their struggle. I appreciate everything that they had to go through so that I can meet them right now where I'm at. We be on the same page and we'll hopefully be able to work together. The lives that they're touching. King is blessing my wife. She's blessing other friends that I have. Chef, I just had the pleasure of meeting him, but in doing so, I feel like I already created a friend in that matter, and I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do some type of event one day, you know. So, with that being said, one do one thing. So good seed in the people. Show appreciation for people. Honor people. It, it's, it's just as simple as picking up the phone, sending a text message, say, hey, you know, I'm thankful for you because of, you know, I appreciate you because you took the time to do this. You don't have to, these aren't things that you have to do. But it's good for you. If you can step outside of yourself for one minute and humble yourself and show somebody else some love and appreciation, it go it goes a long way. And on top of that, the seed that you sow, the blessing that you give back is 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 remarkable. You know, like I said, I'm not doing this because they paid me to or they asked me to. I'm doing it because I truly appreciate them and I'm honored by their stories. And hopefully, you know. The community that I have following me and the platform that I have, you can get in contact with these individuals and they can be a blessing to you. All right. So that with that being said, in everything that I say, change your mind, change your life. Y'all have a blessed day.